Very good morning students and welcome back. Today we are going to do a poem Jumbo Jet written by Terence Allen Milligan also known as Spike Milligan. He was born on 16th April 1918 at Ahmednagar, British India. He was a British Irish actor, comedian, writer, musician, poet and playwright. He disliked his first name and he began to call himself Spike Milligan after hearing the band Spike Jones. Milligan wrote nonsense rhymes, some of which enjoyed worldwide popularity. In a BBC poll in August 1919, Spike Milligan was voted the funniest person of last thousand years. His poems were based on imagination, funny things, and Jumbo Jet is one of them. Some of his uh, most enjoyed works are The Goon Show, 1972, More Goon Show, 1973, Pukun, 1963, The Murphy, 2000, etc. Now let us see what is there in this poem. I saw a little elephant standing in my garden. I said, you don't belong in here. He said, I beg your pardon. I said, this place is England. What are you doing here? He said, ah, then I must be lost. And then, oh dear, oh dear. In the first stanza, the poet tries to draw the attention of the reader by saying surprising and amusing line that when he went outside he saw a little elephant standing in his garden. The poet addresses the elephant and tells him somewhat abruptly and perhaps rudely that he doesn't belong in here. The elephant doesn't understand what the poet is telling or is confused about his entire situation. He asks for clarification and the poet explains that they are in England. In the last line when the elephant says, oh dear, oh dear, it means that the elephant realizes that something has gone terribly wrong. He has ended up somewhere new, somewhere he isn't meant to be. I should be back in Africa on a Sarangati's plane. Pray, where is the nearest station where I can catch a train? He caught the bus to Fintley and then to Minching Lane and over the embankment where he got lost again. In this stanza, the lost elephant's tone grow more concerned. He tells the poet that where he should really be is back in Africa on Serengeti's plain. The elephant continues to ask the speaker if there is somewhere he can catch a train. Now this is really funny to imagine an elephant catching a train. Instead of getting on the train, he catches a bus to Finsley and then to Mincing Lane. It becomes clear that the elephant and the poet are in London because Mincing Lane and Finsley are roads in central London. He makes it all the way to the embankment, wanders and again lost. <laughs> The police, they put him in a cell, but it was far too small. So they tied him to a lamppost and he slept against the wall. But as the policeman lay sleeping by the twinkling light of dawn, the lamppost and the wall were there, but the elephant was gone. So if you see an elephant in a jumbo jet, you can be sure that Africa is the place he's trying to get. 
in the last quatrain of jumbo jet the poet is not physically present for any of the action the poet relies upon the situation and tells the police came upon the elephant and tries to put him in a cell this didn't work because he is much too big and the cell is far too small they decide the best course of action is to tie him to the lamp post outside it was there that he spent the night he wasn't alone though the policeman stayed with him eventually also fell asleep when the policeman woke up the elephant was gone it was sometime around the down that the elephant wandered off again somehow breaking away from the lamp post in the last two lines of the jumbo jet the poet and the reader do not know if the elephant ever made it back to africa but wanted everyone to know that if you see an elephant in a jumbo jet then they can be sure that africa is the place he is trying to get this poem is perhaps a request for any on looker to help the poor elephant get where he is going or maybe the speaker just wanted to share his story this way no one will be shocked like he was to see an out of place elephant Okay children so that is it for today i hope you liked the video and enjoyed the poem jumbo jet so we will meet again in another video lecture with some new topic till then thank you very much and god bless you all